Hey, I'm Dre, and this is Dre Trading. Uh, so, uh, not that bad of a day, um, but even though it wasn't that bad, uh, it's a Friday, uh, and Fridays tend to have, you know, sell-offs and stuff like that, and, you know, altogether, you know, it was, for the most part, a flattish day, it still felt like uh, today meant something, um, because uh, there was a whole lot more uh, China talk uh, today than I've kind of seen in a while. Um, I don't know if there was any extra uh, things going on with China. I did see, I think there was uh, sanctions or uh, tariffs placed on the U.S. by Canada because Trump put like a 10% something or other on um, Canadian aluminum or something like that. I don't know. Um, so it did seem like there was kind of like, you know, back in the day, it's uh, almost like it's 2018 again. Um, it seemed like there was, you know trade uh kind of rumblings and stuff like that and people not happy but china was the one that was kind of mentioned the most um i think maybe one bit of news something to do with like banning like wechat so mo they've been mostly just been talking about tiktok but wechat's a thing now so it seemed like there was more you know tension and stuff like that with uh china i saw china in the headlines a lot more but i think i also uh thinking of china i think i saw like uh th that the intelligence uh community or whatever like that are, s are saying like uh china iran and um russia are looking to interfere and you know do things with the election and stuff like that so i'm sure each political aisle and whoever can like point out certain countries being for certain people and you know everyone can say everything's rigged and whatever like that so that's just not gonna help uh, matters when it comes to you know the stock market and like when it comes to trading and stuff like that because like obviously it's like if china you know is against you know trump that's not going to make trump any happier with china which will make you know the rhetoric on china worse which you know isn't going to be great with you know trading and stuff like that i'm not saying that mean you know rhetoric against china isn't a deserved or you know good ultimately for just like life in general but i'm just talking about the stock market and basically you know saying bad things to any nation no matter how awful they are or no matter how great they are um isn't good for like trade and stuff like that um but you know so those were like the bits of news on the day it, like i said it was kind of a flattish day but just the news was kind of making it seem like a bigger thing than um, before, where it's just like, yeah, maybe this thing with China isn't going to be too hot, and you know, we can really start, you know, seeing some ramp up with, you know, tit for tat, um, you know, economic stuff. But um, we'll see. I'm not hoping for it, you know, in order to be proved right about, you know, a bad August. But you know, like I said, that could be the thing that you know really turns things um, negative. If uh, all of a sudden China becomes a big uh, news article story type thing uh, in the coming months, especially if it you know really attaches itself to the election, if the election is basically how like l the last election was about like the wall and Mexico and stuff like that, if this time around it's all about China and basically who can dislike China the most like politically and stuff like that, and what you'll do to China once you you know past November. Yeah, I think, you know, things can really take a hit for the stock market. Again, like I said, I'm not saying anything's good or bad, you know, doing anything with China. Um, but it could impact the stock market. But uh, I guess uh, to get to my things, um, we have uh, leading the charge, uh, Green Organic. Uh, that was up 5.26. You have Smith & Wesson up 2.69. So I guess the NRA being disbanded wasn't uh, that big of a deal uh, in the end. Uh, but they are going to be reporting soon, so that will kind of really tell whether or not they go up or down. Uh, DraftKings up 1.31, Nikola up 1.16, Pfizer up 0.47. Then you get into the red, um, Aurora Cannabis down 0.39, Beyond Meat 0.81, Waifu down 1.21, uh, Boeing 1.27, Take two, 1.34. Uh, AstraZeneca, 1.42. Apple, 2.45. That's really going to hurt me. But they've been doing so well recently, so it's like it, it's hard to be upset with them. If anything to be upset about, it's just like, oh, I kind of should have sold on the high. But, you know, who knows the next time. Next time I have an opportunity to buy, it's probably going to go up 5% before I even get a shot uh, to do that. But 
we'll have to keep an eye out for Apple. If all of a sudden Apple's going to be on a losing streak, um, then it probably would have been a smart time to sell when it like hit its you know ridiculous uh, trend up. Uh, then you have uh, Tesla down 2.48, Tilray 3.87, and Canopy Growth 5.08. So fair amount of red, fair amount of green. You know, um, on in the end, I am down uh, 0.48. And with the mutual funds, uh, my best mutual fund is up 0.08. Wow, a whopping 0.08. Uh, another mutual fund didn't do anything on the day. Zero. And the last mutual fund did uh, 0.92. So I beat one of them. Um, again, I need to really pay attention to the one I beat. Like, I think I keep beating the same one. And if I am, then, yeah, maybe I should, you know, take money out of that one. Um, next time I'm looking to, like, you know, have cash on the side. Like I said, I took cash um, out of take two. And take two kind of had a run up since then. You know, it may have been a better idea to, you know, take it out of that mutual fund that I keep beating. Um, instead of uh, take two, which was you know proving itself to be good, but uh, but like I said, you know if uh, things go bad with China, you know all these things can be below uh, my reach recent uh, purchases and or sell sells and stuff like that. So you know um, this will really uh, tell if the China thing does heat up. It really will tell if um, it would have been smarter to have more cash on the side and kind of you know you know, take some of the profits off some of the ridiculousness we've been doing that I myself, you know, have admitted that it's ridiculousness uh, to buy uh, at on lower dips. But we'll, we'll see uh, if those uh, lower dips are coming. The other news thing to kind of point out is, uh, I guess, uh, I, I don't know if it was delayed or, you know, people doing math or whatever, but that number, that other jobs number thing uh, finally was talked about at least. I don't know if it was out yesterday and people were just like, ah, that's so insignificant we'll talk about tomorrow um but the numbers that i talked about were basically at the beginning of the month that they say how many jobs were created uh last year or uh, last year last month or whatever um i guess uh, we beat what was expected uh that what was expected was basically like one and a half uh, million jobs uh but instead it was like 1.7 so, uh, I mean, maybe not to nitpick, it was, what was expected, I think, is 1.4, and what was given was around 1.7. So, you know, a little bit more of a swing, whatever. But it was a beat, but, you know, it wasn't that great of a beat. So with it not being, like, that big of a trend or anything like that, you know, nothing, like, really happened. I thought, like, at the beginning of the day, that's when I, like, kind of saw the reporting and stuff like that, that it was just like, oh, maybe this is going to get us to have a green Friday, um, and it didn't, it didn't really seem to do anything. Or I guess you could make the argument that it's just like, you know, on the day we were kind of uh, flat and it was due to that. You can chalk it up and say, it's just like, well, it would have been worse if it wasn't this, but like, who knows about that? And if I, I didn't mention, um, I think like the Dow was up like a hundred and the NASDAQ was down. No, no, I think the other way around. I think the, um, Dow was up like, around 50 and the NASDAQ was down about 100, I think. Um, so, you know, all, ultimately not a good day for the NASDAQ. Ultimately, reason why, you know, I didn't really have a good day. You know, a big chunk of that probably was uh, Apple not doing too hot. Uh, but I'm sure other tech things weren't doing too great because they've kind of had a run uh, of recent weeks and stuff like that. But, you know, ultimately a good close for uh, the week. Um, we still made a profit. Um, so far, I will I'll consider this month to be a win. Or at least I should just say that this week would be a win. Um, it's going to be interesting to see next week. You know, other things are going to be reporting. But I think outside of things reporting like uh, Walmart and stuff like that, you know, the the trade stuff is really going to be the thing that's going to either, you know, make or break us. I guess uh, the other thing to comment on is there's been like a stall with the um, stimulus package and stuff like that. You know, who couldn't have seen that coming? Um, but... Yeah, I, I, I kind of think, you know, uh, there people aren't, like, being crazy about that as much. I didn't see as many headlines about the stimulus package as I did about uh, China and stuff like that. So in rankings of things that can kind of screw up uh, the market, I think um, China stuff is on top. Then uh, it's uh, reportings and stuff like that. Then it's um, bad COVID things. And then it's, you know, government bad COVID things like stimulus package and stuff like that. If all of a sudden, like, um, Florida 
they report that half their citizens are dead or something like that. That's going to like be, you know, that's going to tank the market and that's going to be a lot more important than like uh, China and whatever they're doing. But outside of that, if it's just like pe numbers are going up and cases and stuff like this, like I think that's a lower priority than like if Walmart says it's just like we made no money or if uh, China says we're going to, you know, tax or tariff half your goods or something like that. Or if Trump says, you know, you know that deal we made, you know, done. It's just like if, if those things happen, I think that's going to be more of an impact than definitely if like the uh if all the political people say over the weekend oh we got a deal going if on the same day they said we got a deal going as uh, trump said you know we're basically at a, in a trade war with china for, uh, monday's going to be a bad day so um so i think those that's the ranking of uh, importance to the market and hopefully none of them will hit hopefully everything will be wonderful it's going to be a wonderful healthy peaceful world from uh, this moment on and the market will never uh, go down at all ever even on good days but I kind of doubt any of that's going to be happening uh, but we'll see what next week brings all right